My name is Lisa Bomer, and I'm a senior program officer at the Conrad Hilton Foundation, based in the U.S., and also chair of the Coalition for Children Affected by AIDS. It's an honor to join many others in paying tribute to a great visionary leader, Noreen Hooney. I've been privileged to know and work with Noreen, primarily as we've both been engaged in the Coalition for Children Affected by AIDS. Recently, Noreen served as the co-chair for the coalition, and together we've steered this group over the past four years. In 2015, when I was asked to take on the chair role, I felt a bit daunted. But when Noreen was proposed as co-chair, and then when she accepted the role, I felt confident as working together, Noreen brought so much wisdom, depth of experience, and commitment. You know when you're in the presence of a visionary leader, someone who acts from deep conviction and connectedness, and Noreen was such a person. If you had the good fortune to meet Noreen through her capacity as the founding executive director and CEO of the Regional Psychosocial Support Initiative, REPSI, or in her role as the co-chair of the coalition, you know well what it was to be graced with her warmth, passion, and humility. You know, too, the enormity of this loss. It is rare that you find a dedicated leader with such vision, compassion, and drive, combined with a cheeky smile and the kindness of hearts. Working with Noreen was a great learning experience for me and an absolute delight. In all her endeavors, Noreen was resolute and purposeful with respect to her focus on improving the psychosocial well-being of children and families the mission of REPSI, from its start through the work of her predecessors, Kurt Midorian and Stefan German. Noreen positively influenced global policies, funding, and practices for children and families affected by HIV and AIDS. Through the coalition, she engaged often with policymakers, donors, and implementers at conferences and in private meetings. She never failed to make an impression. She explained in simple human stories why change was needed and what could be done. She motivated, she inspired, people listened, and many commented on the impact she had on them. Internally, Noreen also shaped the views of the coalition's 26 members. We're an independent group of influential thought leaders from across the UN donor, NGO, and academic communities and Noreen helped us to understand why the mental well-being of mothers and the psychosocial support of children and adolescents was critical to ensuring that those affected by HIV and AIDS both survive and thrive. Recently, Noreen helped the coalition establish its flagship ambassador program to support mothers in Africa affected by HIV and AIDS to advocate at the global level. Noreen helped us identify these ambassadors, design a psychosocial support structure around them, and build their capacity. From the outset, these ambassadors, as with all coalition members, looked to Noreen for guidance. She strengthened and empowered these women in ways that will serve them for years. One of the ambassadors that Noreen supported, Dudu Dlamini, went on to win the Prudence Mabele Award in 2018, a life-changing achievement for Dudu, which Noreen played a key part in. Noreen has planted a seed that will shape international development for years to come. She's helped us all to understand the silent emergency that is mental ill health amongst children and caregivers in adversity. She and her work with the fantastic REPSI team have shown how to foster psychosocial support amongst communities and systems in countries of high HIV burden. This work will continue and grow. Finally, the coalition wishes to thank REPSI for supporting Noreen's work with us. We know that her work with the coalition often took her away from the day-to-day -day running of REPSI, and we're grateful for the team for making this possible. As we continue to grapple with the enormity of the loss of Noreen, let us deepen our commitment to fight for all that Noreen held dear to ensure that children and families living in adversity receive the psychosocial support that they need to thrive. And let us hold Noreen's memory close in our hearts to inspire and guide us. Thank you.